I want to talk about a consistent theme that I saw or witnessed at the Las Vegas ORAT celebration. I want to ask Casey if she saw the same thing. And I just want to encourage people to really believe this. Let's welcome Casey Brick by Brick, one of the featured speakers at the ORAT event. How are you doing, Casey? I'm doing great. I'm recovering from the Vegas trip. My, my cold is going away. I had the best time. Um, I met so many amazing people. So thank you so much for giving me the, the opportunity to come out. Yeah, thank you for saying yes. Thank you. Uh, hopefully your husband had a good time as well. Uh, he got he to did. see his he wife did. speak. So that's got to be fun. Yeah. Um, one of the things that I saw at the event that I was uber excited about was it seemed like a lot of folks in the audience were excited about knowing that only a handful of units is the way to go. They don't need the hundred. They don't need the thousand. They don't need the Lamborghini that only a handful of units set them free. And of course you are a living, breathing example of that and, and talked about that from the stage. So I think your speech resonated. It landed, but uh, what say you? I would all say when I sat in the VIP room and I was talking with everyone at the lunches and dinners, I was really floored, Michael, because I, you know, being on social media, you see everyone talk about how many units and how many apartment complexes and these people are just like levels above and they live, eat, breathe real estate. And we all know how much work it really takes to be at that level. Like, whoo, you know, and most people, they don't want to do that much work. We got to do the work, but that a lot of times that, that work is family sacrificing and we all mm -hmm. know it. There's no way around that. It's family sacrificing you, you gone all the time, you know? Like Agreed. when I saw, was it, was it Pace Morby that just had the baby? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. And it's like, you know, he's traveling all along. You look at his thing. He's, you know, he's amazing. Don't worry. He's freaking awesome. Yeah. Traveling, traveling, traveling. He's got a ton, two cute little girls and a baby. Oh my God, mm -hmm. does he, how often does he see them? You know, is the, um, just a lot, you know, to be him is a lot. So, and when you're on social media, that's a lot that you see. And a lot, it gets a lot of people down. Like, oh, I'm never going to be that. I'm never going to have that. And, and it's okay to not want that level. It's okay. And so when I was sitting at the VIP room and I was talking to all the people that follow you and they have no, you know, they have real estate experience now because they're doing it all. It was just refreshing to see that I identified and they identified with me and my story so much, which is you don't need to be Pace Morby. You don't need to do that. You know, mm -hmm. you can find financial freedom with just one rental at a time, brick by brick, you will get wealthy. Like that's both of our, our mottos in just mm -hmm. a different format. And, you know, one property can change your life. They just repeat the process, buy one every year, you know? And then the more properties you have, the more cash flow that you have coming in, the easier it is to save for another down payment. And especially if you have two incomes. I mean, she's, and I only had one income. Like I wasn't working. Imagine we were talking about this last night. God, Casey, imagine if you were working and you you had two incomes coming. I'm like, I know it's all my fault, you know. But <laughs> I, I wanted to stay home with my kids, and that you know, so we didn't start off at the path other people. You know, I could have been. We could have been a different place. But it's just amazing because you only need a handful. Just start with a few. Just you know, we have eight long term rentals right now. And we bring in, you know, full one full-time salary. Like, gosh, I got my salary. I did it. And I don't have to work hourly for it. I'm not Pace Morby. I mean, I'm not mm -hmm. Michael Zuber. But, you know, <laughs> maybe one day, you know. Yeah. But it's okay to not want to even be at that level. It's okay to just want enough. Enough to replace your income. Enough to retire your spouse. Enough to not feel the, the societal pressure of, of having to work for the man so that, you can live your life. It's it's okay to want financial freedom and have it be just enough. No, I, I couldn't agree more. I I want to keep doing everything I can for the next decades, keep hammering that point. Right? If you can just get to four, it'll change your financial future. If you continue yeah. to eight, nine, 10, it could be that financial freedom. I mean, Dion has proven that even in the high, high price state of Seattle, if you keep your your expenses in line, you could retire on you know 13, 14, 15, 16 units. And that is certainly possible for the average person if you do it for a decade. It's it's get rich slow, but get rich for certain. And I was really happy that the audience, that not only that that landed, 
but frankly, they're executing it. I didn't run into anybody at the event that is pushing a syndication or any of these things that I would have been very disappointed at. I, if you come to my event and you're trying to push a big thousand unit syndication because you're trying to grift off my audience, I would have been disappointed and probably kicked you out and refunded your money. I didn't see that happen. And people were just talking about, you know, a single family home, a duplex, maybe a 10 unit, uh, depending on where they are in their unit, in, in their journey. I was, um, the audience blew me away. And, and they were engaged both days. You know what it's like, two days in Vegas. Day one's freaking a killer at like 14 hours, right? It went from eight to eight to, I guess, 12 hours, eight to eight. Um, and then to come back Sunday morning at 8 a.m. and be ready. That's hard to do in Vegas. That's hard to do in any city, but it's really hard to do in Vegas. Me and my husband were like, look at the schedule. Like, we know Michael Zuber planned this event because he did it on day two. <laughs> yeah, Michael's a morning person, That's folks. So. <laughs> we know Zuber put the schedule together. There's an 8 a.m. Uh, start day two. Yeah. Do you know what? Oh, that's hilarious. That's hilarious. Back it up. Yeah, I, I love this. I, I, I This really goes back to, and I didn't know where this conversation goes, but it would actually go back to day two, talk one, Coach Carson, right? Mm -hmm. Co yeah. Coach Carson, small and mighty investor, right? The most meaningful moment for me as an attendee, and again, I watched every presentation, the most meaningful moment for me as an attendee was Coach Carson on stage with that PowerPoint that looked like a, a graph. And there was this little green asterisk at the top that said enough. And it was like, he gave me permission to sit down. Not that I needed permission, but it was nice to have, because that's where Olivia and I have been for five years. We got to our point, which is more than enough. And we've sat down. I reserved the right to stand up, but I love the fact that enough is okay. Enough is okay. So that was, that was a pretty cool moment for me personally. I love it. I know. And I would have never thought that, you know, going to a real estate event, you have all these people that just, you know, and there were them there. They're just like, I want all this, all this. But everyone I talked to and a lot of the same guys I talked to multiple days because we just got to know each other. And, you know, like one guy, Josh, he, you know, um, has a motor home and he's just buying houses cash now because he had a great job and he's going to use it to travel the country and he homeschools his kids and you know, there are just so many people like him. And it's like, you know, and he wasn't scared to say I bought my house, I buy my house is cash. Like, you know, if you said that online, how much crap you'd get from the exactly. gurus? Oh, buy your house oh. is cash? How dare you? You should leverage to the guild and cash out refinance and put that down. It's like, you know, at your event, it was like a safe place. It was, yeah. hey, this is my strategy. This is what works for me. It's like, what do you think, friend? You know, isn't this great? And it was really just a huge friend thing. And I've not been to other events and maybe they're like that. But I really don't. No, it. they're not like that. No, they're not like that. I, I I, didn't, I got the feeling like this is special, you know? And if I were to go to some other big event, it's going to be so much chest pounding and I'm mm. this and I'm that and I, my way is the best way and do what I do and buy my this and buy my that. And that's what I envision other events, you know, being like. Oh yeah. But, oh, look at me. I'm bigger. Yeah, they. Yeah, it's it's uh, yeah. not something that I would allow to happen at one of mine. I do have yeah. a question though. Uh, so hopefully now folks have seen on social media that I gave every speaker a gift after their talk to thank them for coming, and I think it's fair to say that the gift leans male, right? It was a championship. Oh, I like it. Yeah, I was going to ask. Right, it was a championship belt, leans male, but I thought it would be really cool, uh, and I didn't. I, I think it was really cool to give to everyone. What do you think, Casey? I think it was cool. Luckily, I had met the weight limit for my suitcase. <laughs> I was like, oh, yeah, it was heavy. But we had a few pounds, so it worked. Uh, but the kids have been wearing it. It's upstairs in the living room. The kids have been walking around wearing it. And I was, but I will put it up in my office. It's my first day really back. I'm here. <laughs> um, but yes, no, I liked it. I didn't know we were going to get like a present. So that was really cool. Um, yeah. You know, I don't need a crown or whatever. I I got tons of crowns. <laughs> I like the family, you know. I want to yeah. be part of the men's club. 
There you go. And again, it was, I mean, it's a legit championship belt. It does have the snap so you can put it on. It's got your picture. Um, yeah, it's very personalized. So um, yeah, I'm glad you metal, like it. Metal, it's high quality. I mean, I'm going to keep, I got, I'll should put it up in my shelf. I got to make a space for it. I'll do that. There you go. Yeah, no, I, um, it's always a risk, right? Is it going to land? Is it going to hit? But uh, yeah, I, I'm glad you liked it. So, so that was, that was really Thanks. cool. Thank you. Oh, absolutely. Um, you know, the other thing when I think about the event was the networking, right? You already talked about it when you were sitting at the VIP section and, and, and talking with different folks. I really was encouraged um, by how many, because one of the things that I did, like I did 15,000 steps because I was continually walking a loop, making sure everybody was good. Um, but everybody, it, nope, there weren't like little clicks for me, right? People were networking and really sharing and, and helping. Uh, so the audience, you know, they really, they really got uncomfortable because for some people networking is, I don't know, it's, it's uncomfortable. Uh, but I was yeah. pleased with that. Yeah, it, um, I thought it went really well, honestly. Everybody was talking to everybody. I talked to so many people. I will say, like, I wish I could have. I, I one thing I do wish was a little different was that there was time for the speakers, like, to get together and get to know each other a little bit more. Mm. I feel like everybody was so spread out. Like, I didn't really get to meet and talk to or get to know, you know, any of the other speakers very well. I talked to Coach Carson a couple times, and then I know Dion was doing his thing in the back room. Otherwise, and then Adrian reached out to me on Instagram and we chatted a little bit afterwards. But I think that maybe like that would have been something I would have I would do differently would be maybe like get the awesome. speakers together to get to know each other. But um, okay. it, I don't know. It was great. Everybody watched. Right? I talked to so many people, you know, yeah. and oh, my God. And then afterwards. Um, so I did my speech on day two. And so then out, you know, there was two more after me. And then after when I went outside, everyone was leaving. I, I had this, I must have stood out there for an hour to take pictures. All of a sudden, now I was like, I can't like because I saw my speech and you know. So then, and then they remember me from Instagram and all that, and so they were like, I don't remember your name, but I know you're brick by brick wealth because that's what it says on all my stuff. So people just know me as brick by brick wealth. They see yellow, they don't really think Casey Franchini, you know. Um, but I took tons of pictures and it's good. Like, everybody wants to take a picture with me. So isn't that, that cool. fun? Isn't that fun? Yeah. Take the pictures. Yeah. Like, well, I'll stick around longer if anyone wants yeah. more photos. But Don't, I, let's I, go. I, got, I got tons of pictures. Yeah. And uh, gave tons of tons more advice outside in the front. Yeah, that's awesome. So I don't know if you know this, but one of the things I'm doing is I have a, a, a worksheet with all things to tweak and improve. I will add, uh, I'll, add I'll probably say something like speaker's dinner or something. Uh, yeah. Maybe so like the night before push. or something. Yeah. And then I'd probably say too, if I had one more thing, maybe like name tags, I think would be good. Got so it. Like, name tags. Yeah. Um, speaker name tags. And then maybe regular, even just right, sticky right on name tags would yep. probably help. Okay. Um, I will get both yeah. of those on the list. But that was great. And every, I will say, Michael, I'm sure you heard it. Everybody wants to know when's the next one. <laughs> and then I was talking, I talked to Olivia a lot. I don't know. If she, you know, told you, yeah. her, Blake and I talked to her a lot and, um, she was like, I don't know if we're going to do this like every year, every other year, or we're like, how often? And I did, you should tell, I tried to get on the podcast room. I was like, Olivia. Oh, she I'll told me, it. she told me, yeah, I'm going to interview you. And, I'll, and uh, she don't want to, I was like, it's okay. Yeah, but if I, I can't like, get her on. You one day. One day, one day someday, I'll someday, yeah. Talk. I'm like, that would yeah. be able to get the most views on your whole channel. Probably, yeah, interviewing Olivia, that would be. That'd Why be a neat trick. Michael Zuber. Yeah. <laughs> oh God. Yeah. You don't want, you don't want that. I don't, I don't want that on the internet. So that, there you go. But yeah, I, I, oh, Ricky and I talked, right. So it took a lot of work to put this together. Uh, oh, probably more sure. work than most people know. And Olivia and I kind of Friday morning getting ready. Um, she and I talked and she asked, she asked like, are we going to do this again? Or she said, are you going to do this again? And I was like, I don't know. I mean, we'll see how this goes. Um, first time uh, trying some new stuff, right? The whole Q&A from the audience thing. And um, I was 50-50. I had no idea. And then Saturday night, so after day one, we don't get home till like nine o'clock. Yeah. And um, normally sleep comes easy to me. I'm out by 10.05, like 10.15 late, worst case. I was up past one. And uh, it was all because I was just vibrating because it was working. 
And it was, it, it wasn't until I told myself that I guess we have to do this again next year that I fell asleep. So uh, I'm committed to doing it one more time. I'm only going to do this year by year because who knows when I'll get tired of it or if I will, but we're going to do it next president's day weekend. I've already, I've already booked the room. I already signed the contract. I already put down the deposit. I already booked the videographer again. I'm, I'm already spending money on next year. So uh, we're doing it again next year. Those uh, video, the podcast room guys, Heartland or Heart, they're, who, Heartfelt. they're freaking. Yeah, they, they were worth every penny. Heartfelt Production. Yeah. If you're doing an event in Vegas and don't use Heartfelt Productions, Brandon and his team, you're a fool. Uh, and also, uh, if you if you have an event in Vegas, less than 400 people, and you don't use the Blind Center, you are wasting money. Yeah. They are that good. They are that good. If it's more didn't than 400 say, people, got to go somewhere else. Didn't you say those other places were like $100,000 or whatever? Yeah, I spent I spent a good month, maybe even six weeks, finding a location. And yeah. like even like I won't say names, even the second tier casinos were uh, somewhere between 25 and 40 K a day before food, before video. Ridiculous. Yeah, nuts. Um, so it's yeah, it's yeah, nuts. But yeah, so um, I was very pleased with the venue. They did all the, dude, they did the little things. When I signed the contract, purple was not an option, right? And what did I see when we walked in Friday? Purple, purple. everywhere. But it's like, Melinda, you're awesome. Yeah. yeah. That would have been yeah. weird if there was no purple there. Yeah, it would have been weird. Because actually on the contract, I had to pick, I had to, one of the, I mean, one of the detailed things you go you through when you sign a venue is a color. So I picked black. Right, because purple wasn't an option, and you, right. I even went as far as to say, "Can I buy them for you, and then you keep them afterwards?" And they're like, "No, we can't do that." Yeah. Okay, black. Sure enough, purple. So yay, they, uh, yay, awesome. yeah. Um, it it was a lot of fun. It was just a lot of fun to to do that and see the audience come through. Uh, we are going to do it next year. Uh, I will be feeding everybody next year. Uh, general admission this time wasn't fed. We are going to feed them, which is going to promote more networking. We're going to have yeah. lunch, dinner, lunch again. Um, so we're going to have six hours of networking, uh, minimum six hours. It will okay. be recorded because uh, one of the things I saw people do because they knew it was being recorded, they took some speak sometimes to go network, which was fine. Um, mm -hmm. And we're gonna go to we're gonna we're gonna max it out this time we 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 did we did three hundred, we're gonna go to four hundred next time. Oh, uh, for sure, you can definitely uh, get that. Yeah, it's gonna be fun. So, I uh, I'm already working on it. I already have. I'm already putting pieces together. I'm already trying to find a speaker gift. Um, I've already spent money, right? I already booked the spot and did all that. So, I look forward to. I'm already excited about next year. So it's gonna be yeah. a lot of fun. So, yeah, it's gonna be great. Yeah. And um, yeah, it's already everybody who bought a ticket or paid virtual. I've already spent in, in seven days. I've given everybody access to it. So if you bought a ticket, you have access on Teachable. Uh, it's either in your account or I created an account for you. The podcast room, all the speakers have their podcast. Uh, I gave it to uh, gave them as a thank you because I didn't pay for anybody's trip. You did that on your own dime. So it's another way for me to give back. So um, yeah, I look forward to using that content. So you have some interviews you can post as you see fit. And I'm excited. I'm going to go look at all that stuff later today and see like, how could I chop it up? I'm excited there for my go. speech. To do that. Yeah. Yep. I need to get <laughs> you that. I will look that up now. All right, Casey, you're amazing. Thank you for being there. Thank you for saying yes. Thank you for spending your own money. Thank you for being a contributor. You're amazing. Where can people find you? People can find me every day on Instagram, Brick by Brick Wealth. And thanks to all of the Zuber fans, I got a thousand subs on my YouTube channel. So now you just need to release videos. And yes, and the watch hours. So I need videos for the watch hours, but I've got a, a nice list of videos ready to go. And now that I'm not sick with the runny nose, um, I'm going to women's retreat this weekend, Heather Blankenship's retreat. So I'll be gone Thursday, but um, the plan is, Record videos in advance. Yes, I have to. I have to get through this whole room, for, so it's a pain in the butt to move everything Casey, around. So you I don't have to do that. 
You don't have to do that. I know. I'm going to take over my son's room. He doesn't even use it. He sleeps in my room. That's why I said. I know Cody's room is going to become my podcast room. And he doesn't even go. He sleeps in my bed with me and Blake. He doesn't even go in his room. It's just for toys. So that needs to go. There you go. Take All right, Casey. One room at take a time. care. Have fun. Thanks. Take care. Bye. You're amazing. Bye.